Well, you can see some changes when you're purchasing your favorite beverage soon. Over at the Capitol, advocates are looking to expand New York's bottle bill. They say that it'll help the environment, but others don't agree. Our Capitol correspondent, Emil Talishi, has those details. Right now, bottle deposit fees are five cents per bottle in New York State. Under the proposal, that would change to 10 cents and include all carbonated and non-carbonated drinks. Ryan Thorson Carson, campaign coordinator for NYPIRG's environmental campaign, says in 2021, the bottle deposit return rate was at 71 percent. Um, but if you look at states like Michigan, Oregon, states that have a 10 cent deposit, um, they're consistently in the high 80s, low 90s for bottle return rate. Ken Pakalski, VP of Government Affairs for the Business Council of New York State, says this is just another way for the state to generate revenues. He also says the state isn't utilizing current programs to the best of their ability. You know, people sit back and say, we wonder why these programs aren't working well. Well, we sort of abandoned them. Uh, and instead of making the ones we have work better, or work the way they were intended to. We're off writing a, a, a wholly different uh, piece of legislation. But Carson says some of those systems are broken. Part of the problem with curbside recycling, that when it actually goes into the bale, um, I think it's 94% of um, New York um, waste systems are single stream devices. Um, single stream devices um, put every, everything in the same stream, right? And so when um, glass breaks, for example, and the bottle bill expansion really is about glass, when that glass breaks, it renders everything around it unrecyclable. Carson says the main goal is to move glass out of municipal recycling systems. Reporting in Albany, Amel Taleji.